Whether your DaVinci Resolve project was accidentally deleted, lost, or just so corrupt that for some reason you can't even right click on it to restore your project backup, this video will show you how to recover local or cloud database projects. If cloud, you need to do this process on the computer that most recently accessed the project in order to get the most up-to-date version of the project that you're recovering. It's also worth noting that these project files take up basically no space, so I recommend banning the delete button altogether and simply making a bin folder that you drop projects into that you no longer want. This will help prevent future accidental deletes. Step one is to go to your database details and back it up so that you have a guaranteed restore point. Step two is to go to DaVinci Resolve, Preferences, User, Project Save and Load. This will show you where all your project backups are saved. If you didn't have project backups turned on, then I'm sorry, but this is going to be a tough lesson for you and your project is not going to be recoverable. Please copy my settings here so you don't end up in this situation again and take this quick lesson. When dealing with data, you should assume that if you don't have a backup, it is already lost. And so please use the 321 backup method as explained in this graphic from the unit Digital Efficiency in Creative Shortcut. Step three is to press browse, go to the folder containing your resolved project backups, and then right click on it to press show in finder. I personally have mine on an external drive so that if my laptop dies or gets stolen, my backup is not on the same device. This is an eight terabyte external that syncs to my local NAS, which then syncs this specific backup, which represents thousands of hours of my life in just 20 gigabytes, to Google Drive, so that even if my laptop, NAS and external SSD are somehow all in one place and spontaneously combust, those thousands of hours of work are still recoverable. For step four, we need a program to read this database data for us so that we know what all these crazy numbers and letters mean and can actually find the project that we want to recover. Database browser for SQLite appears to be a decent open source database software, but of course you're downloading at your own risk. The link is in the description. Go to download, get the correct one for your operating system, and then install it and open it. For step five, press open database and go to your resolve project backups folder that we found earlier. Each of these folders represents all DaVinci Resolve files and backups for each individual project. We don't want to have to search through every single one of these, so change your file order to date modified as it's more likely that you want to recover a recent project. Then start with the most recent folder and open up the most recent project.db file inside it. Switch over to browse data and select the drop down to find sn underscore project. Scroll across until you see project name. Now you know which project you're dealing with. Repeat this process until you find the project that you wish to recover. Step six is to make a copy of this whole folder and temporarily dump it on your desktop in case you need to access an older version of the project due to corruption or a mistake that you've made at some point and needing to access an older version of it. Step seven is to open up DaVinci Resolve in a local database, even if your project is from the cloud. We can export the recovered project and load it into other databases later if that's what you need to do. Make a folder called recover. Then click on details and press reveal in finder. Now all we need to do is copy the most recent project.drp from our backup into this new folder and then delete the additional dot number that follows the .drp file type so that it just says project.drp. Step eight is to reopen DaVinci Resolve and go to the recover folder that you made. You'll find that it's now turned into a project the one that you needed to recover. You can then export this as a file backup, which you can load into any database, including Blackmagic Cloud. See you soon.